Groove is one of the tools in Revit that not only has lots of different types, but also has a variety of options to create a customized and highly detailed models. Let's start from the beginning and see how we can utilize them. Click on wall and with this rectangle, create a few walls in the center. Now I'm going to select all of them and attach the top part to the second level. After this, we are going to create a roof, of course, in the second level. And I'm going to use this big walls with one meter overhang. Set it in this part and then simply click on all of these walls in here. Hit finish and let's go to 3D view to see our simple model. Perfect. Go back to floor view and in here we are going to create a section. It doesn't matter where you are going to create it. I'm going to just simply create it in this part. Now let's go to this section view and here we are going to create our details. Make this part smaller to see only where we need. And also let's go back to first level and move this one to here and okay before we start i want to make a few changes i'm going to change this detail view to fine and also put this visual style on consistent color i'm going to change the roof type to this one and also i need to change this wall to this generic model you see this part in here this is not correct so i'm going to select the wall and attach it to this roof type so we don't see any gaps in this part now we are going to start with this edge because obviously we are unable to attach anything to this part. I mean for the base for the bottom part of this. So if you select the roof in here you see this rafter cut. Right now it is on plump cut which is this one. And if you switch it to this two cut plump it will give you an option fascia depth which you can set on any number that you want to like create a thickness in this part to add the fascia we're going to talk about fascia more in a few seconds but for now i'm going to just simply set this number on 20 centimeter like this the next part that we're going to work on is this part this gap Usually we don't have overhangs like this. We have like something covering this part either for like protecting the interior side or for like other purposes. The tool that we're going to use for here is soffit. So if you go to roof in this part, you will find this soffit. Click on it and then we are going to go to one of these levels or to a 3D view. Let's go to 3D view so I can show you better how we can create it. We are going to create soffit for this part to like close the gap between this overhang and this wall. So if we go to this level, first level, we can't see the roof. But if we go to 3D view, we obviously can see it. And in here, we just need to go to top view and create a rectangle around this part. This way is easier to create that soffit. Right now, if you want to like create the inner side because if i hit finish at this part uh, inside of this roof is going to be filled with the soffit which we don't want that we need to just have it in the outer side of this overhang so we need to create another loop in the outer side so i'm going to use this pick line and i'm going to just click on the exterior side of all of these walls so it is exactly from the edge of the wall to the edge of the roof click on all of them and then just hit finish now let's go to this section to see where it is exactly you see that it is exactly from this edge to this part you just need to move it down a little bit so before that i need to like add some changes because right now this is 30 centimeter and obviously we don't want it that much i mean we could have soffits with this thickness but since we are going to use it as the outer layer of soffits sometimes we have like two layer of soffits for like ventilation purposes or things like this but right now we just need to cover this part so we don't need this much thickness go to edit type and in here we are going to go to this part so all of the settings are exactly like the floor settings and you can add layers you can change the materials you can change the thickness from this part i'm going to set the thickness on let's say three centimeter 
I think it's enough for this soffit and let's just go back. Now I'm going to use a line to align this part with here. Perfect. If we go to the 3D view, we can see it in here. Let me just put it on fine and this consistent color to see this soffit. Perfect. As I said, you can also change the material from the edit section. The second tool that we are going to use is the fascia. What is the fascia? Fascia is a part that kind of supports this soffit and also prevents water or snow to sweep into roofing and destroying this part. So it is very important element in creating roofs. How we can add it we need to go to architecture section in the roof and in here you can find the roof fascia to add it you just need to go to a 3d view and click on these edges or in this part you can also add it from just simply clicking on this part now you see a very simple fascia in this part which we are going to change so if you select it and go to edit type in here you will see this profile with very different sizes you can select either between these or create your own profile well let's see how we can create one go to file and create a new family in the profile category in here you need to go to the family category and parameters and change the profile usage if you open this word you will find this fascia in here and you just need to click ok after this, we are going to create a few reference points. So I'm going to create a very simple form. We need one in this part, another one in here, and another one in this part. I'm going to also create one in here. Now let's create some dimensions for this part, for this part. For controlling the height, I'm going to create one from here. And I think that's enough. So this part and this part are going to be like the thickness. Let's just call it A, okay? And this part is going to be the length. Let's just put L in here and okay. So I'm going to go to create and actually use this line for creating the profile. I'm going to start from here to this part, then here to this part here and close it like this. Now, if we go to this family type, we should be able to manage all of these. So for A, I'm going to like change it to two centimeter. Okay. And for L, let's go with only 10 centimeter. And okay. I also want to like be able to control this part. So I need to create another one for here. Let's just call it simply B. And change the value to like five centimeter and okay I think these permits are going to be enough but if we need anything more we can come back to here and create it save the family and then load it into the project now if we go to this section and select this fascia in the edit type we should be able to see the family that we just created it's this one and then if you apply you will have it in here so how we can change and manage all of the parameters that we just created obviously we can change it from edit type so to change it you need to go to project browser and to the families section the category that we created this profile in is the profile category so you need to find that and then open the family that you just created we created this one it's in here open it and then right click on it and go to type properties in here you can see all of the parameters that you just created for the length for the overall size of the height of this part since we created this l from this part to here and if you remember the plump cut to cut plump was set on 20 centimeter so 20 centimeter in here and we have like 2 centimeter in this part so it is 22 centimeter and then you also need to calculate the size of this soffit so i'm going to add like 25 centimeter i'm going to set this length on 25 and apply perfect now if you want to like change the thickness of this you can change it from here i'm going to just simply set it on 3 and apply 
Obviously, we need to add one more centimeter to this part. And for controlling this part, this base, I'm going to just simply change this one to 10 centimeter. Apply. If you select it in the properties section, you will see a few options. So these are for controlling the offset of this fascia from this part vertically and horizontally. So if I change this part to like 5 cm, it will go up 5 cm. And for this part, I'm going to set it on 10 cm. So you see the offset in here. Sometimes we might need to have like different shapes, different types of fascias for this part or maybe different elements so these tools are very helpful also if you scroll down to this part you will see this angle option which is going to help you to rotate this fascia you remember when we select this one we had another option called to cut a square and it was kind of rotated this part if you want to use that option just switch the rafter cut to that one and then on this part you can also use angle option to rotate this fascia and fit and set all of them together so as you saw this was the suffit it was very simple to create obviously you can create one yourself with the permits and dimensions that you need and you can add as much detail as you want the next tool that i think is more known for us because we use it all the time i myself didn't know that much about these two parts but gutter is something that we see everywhere and we use all the time in our projects too. So to add a gutter to this part, we are going to go to floor again and it is this third option. It is kind of very similar to this fascia but it is going to be attached to this part. If I move my mouse closer to this part, you can see this point. If I click in here, it will add a gutter in this part let's go to 3d view to see how it looks it's this one in here and if we select it and go to its edit type we also see that there are a few different profiles for this one too so if i change it to this one you see that its size is going to be different this means that we also can create profiles for the gutter ourselves. This one could have a lot of different shapes and we see a lot of different profiles like that. In here you can see a few samples and we can also create it ourselves. So let's go to file and create a new family in the profile section again. Before anything, let's change the category profile usage to this gutter and OK. For creating a family for your gutter, you can either create it parametrically so you can control all of the sizes and dimensions in this project or on any project that you have or you can like take the sizes, take the dimensions and create exactly what you need. Since we created the fascia parametrically, I'm going to create this part with the exact sizes that we need. Let's go back to the section view and in this part, I need to use dimensions from this part to here. It's 26 and also I need the size of this part from here to this point, which is 15 centimeter. I mean, we can go over that size, but the important size that we need is this 26. So let's go back to the family and in here we need to create a reference plane in this part and another one in here so from this part to here it was like 26 for this part i'm going to set it on 10 centimeter because i want to add another part to here so let's go to create use line i'm going to draw it exactly from here to this part to here and then i need to switch to this start and radius and i'm going to create it to this part and create a curve like this perfect continue with this part and create a very simple detail from this point to here maybe like 25 millimeter 25 to here and one centimeter like this let's go to create again and use this line but this time i'm going to create the offset for all of these parts with only like five millimeter inside this profile and then just close and trim all of the parts together 
let's load it into the project okay go to section view select this profile go to edit type and in here we should be able to see that it's this family we didn't save it before loading so it has this name just select it and click on apply so this is the gutter that we just created let's go to 3d view to see how it looks perfect i feel like it's a little large which shouldn't be um but it's okay it's correct and if we want to change it we can just come back to here and i think if we delete this part and this part we can move all of these parts closer to here and then just simply to emit like this and then load it again into the project and i think it looks much better again you can like make this part smaller the height of this part is smaller you can change the profile you can make it parametric as you saw there are a lot of different shapes in different sizes for the gutters and yes that was three tools that you can use to add details to your roof and if you want to learn more about roof and how you can create it make sure to watch this video